Hi, Andrew Dolson here with Symbology, and today we're going to be learning some tips and tricks to use with the bartender printing program. Let's get started. So oftentimes I'm asked which barcode to use and what size to make the barcode. Also, people will ask how come a barcode does not print well when you go to print it. That usually comes down to the resolution of the actual printer, but there are a few things to look for in all your barcodes. Of course, you have all your various barcode choices to use. The most common ones you're going to see are the UPC, that's the kind with the, the, on the milk jug in the supermarket. Uh, every product in the supermarket has a UPC. You'll also see barcodes on um, clothing. Most of the time that'll be a UPC or it could be an individual store number. Uh, other common ones are code 128, code 39. Um, some of the other ones you'll see is the um, data matrix which is used in um, uh, in the medical fields or um, QR code which I think everybody's familiar with. Well let's just start with a code 128 and we'll go ahead and put that on our label. Some of the things you want to know is what is the orientation of the label that you're going to print. Ideally you want the lines in the barcode to be going in the same orientation as the print. So in this particular case This is my feed direction, and my labels are, or my lot, the lines on my label are in the same direction as the feed. If I was to rotate this barcode, it would make it harder for the printer to print it, because when you're printing this style barcode, as you come across the, the bars, the heat from the printhead remains a little bit, and it will tend to smear. So sometimes if you're going to print this label in this direction or this barcode in this direction, you may want to make the mill size a little bit bigger. And the mill size is the size of the skinny line and the skinny bar. If we do a right button click and go to properties, we can go see what that size is right now. The minimum you want to do on pretty much any barcode is seven mils. This printer is not capable of doing 7 mils. You can see I can do 4.9 mils or I can do 9.6. So 9.6 would be my absolute minimum for printing. But in this direction, I would want it to be bigger because of the capabilities of the printer and how poorly barcodes print when they're in this direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bigger because I have the room on the label, I'm gonna try and make it as big as I can and still fit on the label. Now I'm gonna copy this one, rotate it back, and then I can go ahead and print in this direction. I can print much smaller. I can go down to, I don't wanna go below seven mils, so I'm gonna go ahead and check here. I'm at 9.8 mils, that's a good size. Of course, bigger is always best. Anything between seven mils and 30 mils is ideal. But this is the way that you wanna set up your labels. You want them to be in the same direction as the same orientation as the print direction, uh, print direction parallel, the feed direction parallel to the line. We'll go ahead and print this out so you can see. Give us a call at Symbology Enterprises. We'll help you through the process to make sure it's a fit for you.